was going to when I was going through buds uh, the, the, on the Sunday that Hell Week was to start. I got a I got a uh, a message that the commanding officer wanted to see me up in his up in his office, and, and that just generally is is a really bad thing for the class leader to get called to the commanding officer's office at buds. So I went up there and I did my you know, knock, knock, knock. <clears throat> Lieutenant Rancich reporting his ordered, sir. And uh, the commander at the time was was Captain Richards, uh, who retired as, as Admiral Richards and is a friend to this day. But uh, he was kind of his nickname was the Hulk, and he was kind of a gruff guy. And so he says, <clears throat> "Get in here." So I, I go in and square myself up at his desk and, and go to attention, and he says. At ease. I want you to meet Mr. Waller. Mr. Waller is a reporter from Newsweek. Mr. Waller will be following your boat crew through Hell Week. You'll make sure that nothing happens to Mr. Waller. I looked at him and at, 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 uh, Captain Richards and I said, Sir, you know, I, I've got a couple of things on my mind. To which he <clears throat> gave the thoughtful reply, Yeah, well, now you have another. <laughs> so. So I got the pleasure, and it actually was was a pleasure of, of escorting uh, uh, Doug Waller through Hell Week, and, and the result of that um, experience was a chapter in, a, in his book, The Commandos, uh, on Hell Week. Well, in that Hell Week chapter, they give, go into great detail about my life um, and, and who I was and, and my family and, and things like that. So about eight years later, uh, I was on cruise as the task unit commander on the USS Enterprise, and we were about four months into it. And uh, at that, <clears throat> generally, you know, as you get four or five months into the into a cruise, things, you know, as as the as the leader, as the task unit commander, um, your guys generally start to wear on you um, because very rarely do they come up wanting to do something for you, uh, but they certainly need an awful lot of stuff done for them, which is perfectly within the, the job description. But I was at the point where I, I was really sort of sort of sick of, of seeing the guys and wanted to be off on my own for a little bit. So we were in Haifa and I went to this little tiny hole in the wall bar. I mean it was it was literally looked like a basement and uh, and went in there and thought that, that was the perfect place to get away from everything and I sat down at the this little window and had a nice cold beer when the door opens up and just about the entire task unit walks into to my little haven. Well, they come running over, hey, sir, how you doing? And, and I made it known to them that, that I was doing just fine before they all arrived, and I just <laughs> assumed be left alone. Well, not more than 10 minutes later, one of the guys comes up and he says, uh, he says sir, I, you need to meet this guy. And I'm like, look, I told you, I don't need to meet that guy. I don't need to, I don't want to talk to you. Just, just let me alone. <laughs> Well, he kept at it and kept at it and kept coming back. And so finally, you know, because <clears throat> finally I was like, okay, fine. If I meet this guy, would you please leave me alone? He's like, sir, if you come meet this guy, I'll buy you a beer and we'll all go to a different bar. I was like, that sounds great. <laughs> so I walk over and uh, and there's, you know, five or six seals in there talking to this kind of young kid. And, uh, and this, the, the person who was wanting me wanting to introduce me says, hey, to the young kid, he says, this is the guy I wanted you to meet. I was like, okay. So I reached my hand out and I said, hi, how you doing? And he reached his hand out and looked at me and said, hello, my name's Tom Rancich. Which, of course, <clears throat> was very interesting to me. And so I shook his hand. I said, really? I said, I said and what do you do? He says, well, I'm a Navy SEAL. Now keep in mind the guy that he is telling this story to, not me, the the other guys are, are about you know poster Navy SEALs. If you were to pick somebody that was a Navy SEAL, these guys were it. And, uh, were they in uniform, by the way? No. no. So you guys were in cities, right? We were all in cities. <laughs> so so this kid reaches his hand out to me and introduces himself to me as Tom Rancich, and I, and so I shook his hand and you know and he tells me that he's a SEAL. I'm like really? I said I said so. Um, are, are, you, are you married? He says, yes, I'm married. What's your wife's name? Allison. I said, really? <laughs> he says, yeah. She's got any kids? Yeah, I, I have a son. His name's Blair. I said, really? How old is he? Well, he's about 18 months. Well, this guy had obviously read the book and had decided that he wanted to be me and, and had taken down all these factoids of, of my life and, and included them in his persona. 
The only problem was it was all frozen back in 1992. So, you know, obviously none of it was correct. And also, according to the book, you know, I went through Bud's when I was 29, which was true, and he was probably about 24 at the time. <laughs> so, and by the way, he really wasn't you. He was he a big tip off for you. Right. So. <laughs> by the way, I didn't get your name. And so I reached into my pocket and I pulled out my ID card and I showed it to him and, and, and he nearly fell to the ground. <laughs> um, his knees went right off from underneath him and, and, and he came up stammering apologies. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, sir, I'm sorry. And I was like, hey man, I, I don't care. I kind of feel sorry for you. I mean, it's a little bit sad, but I was like, you know, I'm not going to, I don't care. I'm not going to do anything. He's like, oh, thank you, thank you. I was like, but you know, you've only got about 10 more seconds. And he's just like, well, but, but, but you said you weren't going to do anything to me. I was like, well, yeah, but I didn't say anything about these guys. <laughs> and I can only hold them back for another oh, seven seconds. <laughs> and he, was like, he was like, but sir, but, but, and I was like, uh, down to five. Well, it, was, it looked like something out of a freaking Roadrunner cartoon. <laughs> him hitting that door, the, the, the light, you know, silhouetting him against the, against the, uh, the outside light in the dark bar and, and just, just to run. Yeah. I, I believe he might still be running.